today I'm the proudest man in the whole world. Seeing your daughter looking so happy and radiant is a truly amazing experience. Claire, you look beautiful. Thank you. I remember the day Claire was born. It was like yesterday. The second I laid eyes on her and held her in my arms, I was in love. She was such a happy, smiley baby. And then the teenage years kicked in when she was about three and lasted 20 years. You can't only love, no, you just have to wait. 14 years. 14 years is how long that's been given me. Enough time to finally come to terms with the fact that Claire's marrying a Manchester United fan. <laughs> Any good father of the bride's speech should end, should end with some wise words. And I have some for my new son-in-law. It's only when you reach my age that you realise what it means to go home at night to a woman who gives you respect, tenderness and affection. What it means is you've gone to the wrong house. <laughs> So oh, just to make there. sure we are marrying the right couple here this afternoon, if we can start by you both stating your full names, please. Richard Ian Smith. Claire Hassel. And at this point, I am required to ask that if there is any person here present knows of any legal reason why these two people should not be joined in matrimony, they should declare it now. <laughs> Nobody? It's lovely and quiet, so I think we're safe to go on. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving and caring, but above all else, a best friend. So I'm going to ask each of you to make a declaration to the effect that you know of no legal reason why you should not be married to each other. So Richard, you get to go first. Okay. When you're ready, if you'd like to repeat after me, please. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any of lawful impediment. Why I, Richard Ian Smith. Why I, Richard Ian Smith. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Claire Hassel. To Claire Hassel. Okay. And Claire, when you're ready, please. <laughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Claire Hassel. Why I, Claire Hassel. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Richard Ian Smith. <laughs> to Richard Ian Smith. Thank you. I just want to show, uh, say how beautiful my life looks today. Uh, yes, that's my wife. <laughs> After all these layers, so um, she looks absolutely fabulous, and uh, Ellie over there as well. She's not coping at the minute, but she looks absolutely stunning too. We just wouldn't be here today without all the work and planning, organisation and the little details that Claire's done because she, she's planned all this in her head in this room. I haven't done anything. I just sat on the sofa 
and gained about half a pound in stress, uh, as you can tell. Okay, my name's Jonathan and I'm Richard's uh, thinner, better looking. <laughs> and obviously, uh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm younger as well. <laughs> but I cannot wait to see how much joy and adventure the future holds between you two. You, Richard, and Ali. The lovely Ali. <laughs> I'd like to like to join you in wishing the new Mr and Mrs Smith all the love, health, happiness for the future. So there's a bride and groom, Richard. <laughs>